Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters, my friends, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'd like to share to you about uh, how do you know if God is with you or not? You want to be sure that God is with you, right? Okay, okay this is what you're going to do. According to the Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, okay, you have to uh, give yourself a living sacrifice to God. Holy and acceptable to God. That is the only time that you can be accepted to God by becoming holy and perfect. Because God Himself is holy and perfect. Without being holy and perfect, we cannot be with God at all. And so that's what is this. Remember, Romans 12, chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. And this is how we do. When we are holy and perfect, God is pleased with us. Because we're gonna, we're gonna believe of what God is saying in our lives. This is when we accept the perfect will of God in our lives. So we, we become holy and perfect. By our own uh, human ways, we can never be holy and perfect. It's impossible. God, we can't achieve anything by our own human ways. We can always do good, but it's still not, not good enough. Amen? So, so being holy and perfect is doing the perfect will of God. That's how you become holy and perfect. Not uh, becoming holy and perfect by what you think, but by doing the perfect will of God. If you do the perfect will of God, you, you think that um, you can still, still do what you like to do. No, it's not. You have to replace that one. You have to exchange it. You have to exchange your self-will to the perfect will of God. You can no longer live according to your self-will, but you live according to the perfect will of God. And this is how we're going to do it. So today, many people in the world today are so happy enjoying themselves going to the beaches. Look, going to the beaches, look at this. Oh, have a look around. Just have a look around. Look at this one. Uh, you can see the people in the beaches around here. Okay, so that's what I said. We are in the beach today and we can see the people in the beach today. And um, <clears throat> that's what happened. People enjoy themselves in the beach today, but they don't know if they are with God or not. I'm telling you, most people in the world today, they don't know that they are with God. And that is the problem of our community. That is the problem of our, our society. That is the problem of the whole world. Because if we are not with God, then we are all alone by, by ourselves as humans. When we are not with God, then we do things that we, according to our self-will. And that's a problem. Because we could be doing, thinking that it is right, but actually we are doing the wrong thing in our lives. Because without God, everything that we do is a sin. Amen? So what is the lesson behind this one? So when you do the perfect will of God, you are no longer in yourself. But it's God who is living in you. That's, that is only when you can do the perfect will, perfect will of God. That's the time that you can do the perfect will of God because He now lives in you. And you are no longer according to thyself. Your self-will is already dead. It's already surrendered. It's already given away. So every day in your life, if you say myself well, I, I uh, <clears throat> stop you, and now I follow the perfect will of God in my life. I want to become holy and perfect because that's the time that I become acceptable to God. So my brothers and sisters, you become acceptable to God because then you allow God to assume His temple, which is who is you. The temple of the Holy Spirit is us. And if we don't allow Him, then the one who is uh, in charge of our life is our self-will. But once we allow God to assume His temple in us, then He lives in us. He lives in us. So our self-will is no longer there, but the perfect will of God. And you know, what is the perfect will of God? The perfect will of God is to believe according to what God commands us to do. And they are all written in the scriptures. Buy yourself a Bible and you start reading the scriptures. If you don't read the scriptures, you don't know where you are. You don't know. You got no direction at all in life. You you don't know anything about what you're gonna do, why you are here, why you are created by God, why you are living for your family and friends. You don't know why. You don't. You got no purpose. In other words, uh, more more likely that you are that you are lost. And so many people in the world today, today even. Even they are already ministering the Word of God, but they are still lost. You know why? This is the truth. They minister the Word of God, but their focus is on money. 
that's a different story now if you if you come to the point where you see okay my focus is God alone and then you sit aside the money side of it you don't focus on the money side but you really focus on on the word of God alone and then you say you surrender yourself holy and acceptable to God that is your daily service to God by doing the perfect will of God in doing the perfect will of God you become very humble in life amen being very humble in life because Jesus Christ who came here by himself he humbled himself he did not claim that he is uh, the he is God by way of uh, by way of the power of God that's given to him but he, he became like you and me, human, like that. He denied himself being like, being true God. To become like man, like you and me. That, 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 so that he can prove to us that there's nothing impossible with man. So man and God can correlate to each other. Actually, we can have relationship with God. So that is the time when we deny ourselves and surrender our self-will to God. Then we will be able to follow his self-will by being humble. By being humble, that is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. If you humble yourself, then you are no longer the person that is living according to self-will. You are, you are no longer the human that is created without God. Or what I say, uh, is created but not knowing God. No, no longer human and carnal where although you know God, but you deny His power. So you are no longer that kind of person. But now, when you accomplish doing this one, uh, give yourself a living sacrifice to God, holy and acceptable, so that's the time, and accomplish the, fair, the perfect will of God in your life, and you become spiritual. As you become spiritual, you are able to thank God. You are able to say, thanks God, I love you. you know, because uh, that is the true, that, that's the true meaning of living in this world. You are the you are um, accomplishing the purpose. You are living the purpose. You are actually allowing God, the Holy Spirit, to live in you, so that Jesus Christ lives in your heart, and it's no longer you, but Jesus Christ who lives in you. So, my brothers and sisters, just remember this one: without Christ in our lives, there's nothing we can do. So, just remember that nothing we can do if Jesus Christ is not in us, and so. If there's nothing you can do, whatever you do in this world is only a waste. You are just, you are just passing by. And everybody in this world is a journey. So do not make it as a journey for nothing, but make it as a journey for God. Amen? So that, that means when we are living, giving ourselves as a living sacrifice, that means as long as we live, that's what it means. As long as we live, we live a holy life. Holy, perfect, and acceptable to God and that is accomplished by doing the, the perfect will of God in our lives what is the perfect will of God the perfect will of God is for us to be happy and for us to serve the purpose for which we are called for which we are created and that the purpose is to live an abundant life for the glory of God it's not for our own selves but for the glory of God just remember my brothers and sisters like that it is only for the glory of God for the glory of God. If we do not glorify God in what we do, then that means we are not living according to the perfect will of God. We are still far away. And so the problem with the world today, too many people who are preaching the word of God today, Sammy, uh -uh, that no they more. are not actually accomplishing the purpose of their purpose. The purpose by which they are called because they are focused on the material things of this world. So the problem is when you are focused on the material things of this world, you have problems because God is not with you. And truly, God is not with you. So you have to deny yourself to be able to do the perfect will of God. So remember what you're gonna do. First step, you have to be living, holy, and perfect life. That is acceptable to God. And in the second, you have to deny yourself. You have to deny yourself will and then Third, you have to do the perfect will of God in your life. And then that, that's the time that you are with God, that you know that you are with God. If you know that you are doing your own self-will, 
you know for sure that you are not with God, you are not living for God, but you are living for yourself. So remember, my brothers and sisters in Christ, it's not complicated. God is not complicated. He made it simple to us. But only what we do, we are making it complicated. Okay, so thing, first thing um, maybe that you have to do is buy a Bible and try to study, try to read the Bible so that you can learn what the Word of God is. What are the commandments of God? What are the uh, judgment, the precepts of God? What is He telling us to do? What is the direction that we are about to, we, we, should, we, should, we should take in our lives? God is a loving God. He doesn't want anyone to be hurt. But you know why many people are hurt in this world? Because they do it according to their, to their own ways. God always tried to protect us. But we always try to go away from Him. You know, start to pray. After praying, then you know you can feel that God is answering your prayer. Truly, truly, unbelievable. The power of God is seen in your prayer. If you don't pray, there's no power in your life. So that's, that's how you become yeah, holy and acceptable to God. Live by holiness, okay? Start to live according to the holiness that is God has given you. And you will see the power of God in your life. So that's all right. Okay, don't worry about that one. We'll fix that one later. Okay, the umbrella is turned upside down. So this is what we're going to do now. To make sure we may accomplish, uh, we, we may accomplish all his directions, all his words, what he wants us to do. Then we know that we are doing the perfect will of God. Okay? So you know the structure, you, know you know the system, you have to read the Bible daily and try to understand it. Okay? Every day. First thing you come up in the morning, read the Bible, and then say a prayer to God that is living a holy life. Forget about these material things in this world. We will live through it. But you know, life in this world is a journey. We are just passing by here. You're not going to stay here forever and enjoy your material things, your possessions. No. We will be here only for a certain period of time in order to accomplish the purposes of our life that is given to us by God. Okay, so journey with God, with love. Make sure that you remember God every day. Remember His words. And you pray to Him every day and thank Him every, every day for what He's doing, for giving you His perfect will so that you will become holy, perfect, and acceptable to God. For this, I give glory to God in Jesus' mighty name through the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And everybody says, Amen. See you again next time. Thank you. Bye now. Most of all, give your heart to God. Yes, most of all. That's it, exactly.